This is another beautiful day as I welcome you to Menalize TV. So we have started solving this year's BEC question. We started with question number one, number two, three, and four. Today we are going to look at question number five. So the question number five says the pie chart shows the weight in kilogram of items Mrs. Mesa bought for her household. So this is the pie chart that we have. Then we have dairy here, flour, <coughs> rice, fish, and then sugar. So the first question says, what angle represents fish? So when you look at the fish here, there's no angle value here. Now when you look at the gari, this is the right angle. That means the angle at gari here is 90 degrees. So if this is 90, we need to find the value of the angle at fish or the angle for fish. So you can let that place be equal to x. So you say let the angle value of fish be equal to x. So it means that if x is here, we add the x plus 36 and then all other angle sectors they have to give us 360 degrees. The reason be that when you take a circular diagram or the circle, the sum of angles in a circle is equal to 360 degrees. So it means that the x degrees plus 36 plus 108 plus 90 plus 54 all should be equal to 360 degrees. So from there, you can say our x plus so 36 plus 108 plus 90 plus 54 all will give us 288 degrees, which is equal to 360 degrees. So since we are looking for the x, we have to what? Group like terms. So grouping like terms, we have the x, which is equal to. So which is equal to 360 degrees minus 288 degrees. So when you take 288 from 360 degrees, then you'll be left with 72 degrees. So this 72 degrees is the angle sector for fish. Now when you come to IIA, what is the weight of the flower board? So the flower board. What is the weight of the flower? So we know that the total weight of the items bought is 20 kg. So that 20 kg, the weight of the flower. So first we have to look at the angle sector for flower. So flower is at an angle sector of 54 degrees. So for us to know the weight of flower board, that should be... So that should be 54 degrees over 360 degrees times 20 kg. So when you do the calculations well, you get 3 kg. So it means that the weight of the flower board is 3 kg. So we come to the beta part of the question 5 I, I, I. So express correct to one decimal place the weight of sugar as a percentage of the weight of rice. So what we are going to do now is we are going to find the weight of sugar as well as finding the weight of rice before we can find the percentage. So the angle sector of sugar is 36. So for us to find the weight of sugar, then 36 over... So that would be 36 over 360 times 20 kg. So here... 36 will go here once and go into this one 10 times and 10 will go into itself once and go into 20 2 times so it means that the weight of sugar is 2 kilograms so now that we know the weight of sugar we have to find the weight of rice the angle sector of rice is 108 so for us to know the weight of rice so the angle sector of rice over the total angle sector which is 360 times the total kg that she bought, which is 20 kg. So once you do the calculations well, the answer that you get is what? 6 kg. So we have to express correct to one decimal place the weight of sugar as a percentage of the weight of rice. So from the question, the weight of sugar is 2 kg. Then over the weight of rice which is 6 kg then this times 100 percent so what two go here once and go here 
3 times. So that becomes 100 divided by 3. So 100 divided by 3. We want to use the law of division to find the number of times that 3 will go into 100. Now when we look at it, the first one, 3 will go into 10, 3 times, so 3 times 3 will give us 9. Then we come to question number 5b. In a class of 30 students, 5 wear glasses. If a student is selected at random from the class, what is the probability that the student does not wear glasses? Now, when you look at it, the number of universal debt is 30. So the number of students wearing glasses, they are 5. Now the question is, the number of students not wearing glasses, or the number of students that are not wearing glasses, that will be 30 minus 5. And this 30 is the number of students that we have in the class. And the 5 is the number of students that wear hot uh, glasses. So it means that we have 25 left here. So it means 25 students are not wearing glasses. So for us to know the probability, we say probability of event is equal to... Probability of event is equal to number of events over number of what? total outcome. So the number of events, which is the student not wearing glasses, they are 25. So 25 is our number of what? events there. Then number of total outcome. The total outcome is the number of students we have in the class, and that will be 30. So the probability of that event, number of events over number of what? total outcome, the event is 25, and the total outcome is 30. So we look at this and see how many number, and which number can go into 25 and can also go into 30. So here, 5 will go here 5 times, and then go here 6 times. So it means that the probability of students not wearing glass is 5 out of 6. So we come to question number 8 which is the shading side and the objective. If A is equal to negative 2, 1, and B is equal to negative 5, negative 3, find the value of 2A minus B. So we have to find twice of A minus B. So we know that A is equal to negative 2, 1, minus B. The values of B is minus 5, minus 3. So in this case, the 2 will multiply the negative 2 that we have there and then to give us negative 4. And then the 2 will multiply the 1 that we have, uh, we have there and then to give us 2 there as well. Then minus, then minus 5 minus 3. So this is the same as minus 4. The negative negative will give us a positive. So it becomes plus 5. Then 2 negative negative give us what positive so because of plus three so negative four plus five will give us positive one then two plus three will give us five which means so we have one five so that one five is the answer a so it means that the question number eight the answer is a there this objective Question number 22. A box contains 10 green and 8 white balls of the same kind. If a ball is selected at random from the class, what is the probability that it is green? So we have A, 1 over 10, B, 4 over 5, C, 5 over 9, and D, 4 over 9. Now, the total number of balls in the box, that is 10 green plus 8 white, giving us 18 balls. So in the box, we have 18 balls there. So that 18 is the number of universal there. The total number of universal we have 18. Now, what is the probability that that ball that is being picked is green? So the number of green balls that becomes what the event. So the number of event there will be 10 because we have 10 green balls there. Then, probability of the event is equal to number of events over number of total outcomes. So the number of events is the number of the green balls that we have. So the green balls, they are 10, then over the total. So the total balls in the back 
they are what? 18. So that becomes 10 out of 18. Now, when you look at this, 2 going to 10, and then 2 going to 18, 9 times. So the probability of getting a green ball is 5 out of 9. So that 5 out of 9 is the answer C. Question number 12. 2 exponent x is equal to 8 times 2 exponent 0. Now before you can solve this, all the bases have to be the same. But here we have 8. This is 2 exponent x. We have 2 here and we have another 2. But this is what? 8. So we know that 8 is the same as 2 exponent 3. That is 2 times 2 times 2 will give us 8. So in place of the 8 here, we are going to put 2 exponent 3 there. So it means we have 2 exponent x, which is equal to 2 exponent 3 times 2 exponent 0. So according to the first law of indices, if the basis are the same and there is multiplication, we add the exponent. So it means we have 2 exponent x here, which is equal to 2 exponent 3 plus the 0. So that's going to give us 2 exponent x, which is equal to 2 exponent 3. So since the bases are the same, we compare the exponent. So by comparing the exponent, x is equal to 3. So with the answers that we have, it means a is the answer, which is x is equal to 3. A boy walks around a circular pond once. If the radius of the pond is 28 meters, find the distance covered by the ball. So we have the answers here, A, 44, B, 88, C, 176, and D, 252 meters. Now when you look at this, covering a circular pond, that is what? Perimeter or the circumference. So for us to find the circumference of a cycle, we say circumference is equal to 2 pi radius. So from the question, we have the radius as 28 meters, then our pi, which is 22 out of 7. So what we have to do is to put the values into the relation. C is equal to 2 pi radius. So that will be 2 times the pi, which is 22 out of 7, times the radius of 28 meters. So here, this 7 will go into 28 four times. So it becomes 2 times 22 times 4. So 2 times 22 times 4 meters, which is the same as... Then 2 times 22 give us 44. And 44 times 4 will give us 176 meters. So that means the distance covered by the boy is 176 meters, which is the same as the circumference or the perimeter of the circular pond. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. Remember to subscribe to the channel, Menalize TV for more updates.